Now, amid rising geopolitical tensions in the Indo-Pacific, several nations have assessed that the risk of a war or a conflict is increasing. While alarm is growing over Chinese belligerents, defense budgets have surged and long-range strike capabilities are almost universally valued at this moment. Now, Beijing has hit out in Washington, D.C. The Chinese Foreign Ministry said that Beijing firmly opposes the U.S. attempt to deploy a medium-range missile system in the Asia-Pacific region. A ministry spokesperson said, we urge U.S. to respect the security concerns of other countries and stop undermining regional peace and stability. Mao Ning added that we have no interest in competing with any other country on military power. As per the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace, the Indo-Pacific region is at the cusp of a new missile age, driven by perceptions of rising insecurity. Short to intermediate range surface-to-surface -surface missile systems are quickly proliferating in the region. Defense experts say that this could intensify already complex security dilemmas and also heighten nuclear escalation risks in crises. Systemic competition between China and the U.S. and worsening threat perceptions continue to drive substantial investments by nations in a range of missile capabilities. Now, China has territorial disputes with many nations in the region. It has contested Japanese control over the Senkaku Islands and has claimed sovereignty over the South China Sea. It has also engaged in creating artificial islands, constructing airfields and also building military bases in the Parcel and Spratly Islands. Beijing is aiming to enhance its reach and extend the exclusive economic zone. The Philippines, Brunei, Malaysia, Taiwan and Vietnam have conflicting claim lines in the South China Sea. Taiwan continues to be an unfinished agenda for China and Beijing-New Delhi ties reached the tipping point in the aftermath of the Galwan incident.